Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So lately, I've been seeing a lot of videos regarding the direction of Harley Davidson. Most of them pondering whether Harley will still be in the business in the coming months or years, or the possible woke direction of the company. Now, this being the case, I thought I would have a look at the company and our good friend and the man currently behind Harley Davidson, and that is their fearless CEO, Jochen Zeitz. Now, Mr. Zeitz was born in Mannheim, Germany in 1963. This makes him currently 60 years of age. He attended European business school and started his professional career with Colgate Palmolive. It was when he joined Puma in 1990 that he began to make a name for himself in the business world. He became the company's CEO in 1993 and over the next 13 years increased the stock price by roughly 40 times over. Puma became a top sporting brand under his leadership. But it was in 2007 that Zeitz began his relationship with Harley Davidson. He started on the board of directors and in 2011 chaired the company's sustainability committee. Uh, to give a little background on this sustainability, one can look to the most recent inclusive stakeholder management report. Zeitz opens the report stating how they ensure a positive impact on the people and the planet while continuing to deliver profit for shareholders. This is accomplished through inclusion and belonging, environmental sustainability, and social impact and prosperity. It is further stated that there are conversations to deepen the understanding of others' lifestyle, diagnosis, belief, disability, social status, or ethnic origin, and consciously reducing the company's footprint on the planet. Now, I may be wrong, but I'm not sure these are the most major concerns the company is facing right now. So as Zeitz had appeared to be a proven commodity for turning a business around, he assumed the permanent position of CEO in May of 2020 after being named the interim CEO in February of 2020. And one of the main decisions that he made was the announcement of the Livewire. Uh, the Livewire ended up being the electric motorcycle division of Harley-Davidson. And at present, or at present, he is the chairman, president, and CEO of Harley Davidson Inc., and the chairman and CEO of Livewire Inc. Um, the Livewire brand, thus far, has been a loser for Harley. While admittedly sales have grown since 2020, it is still extremely far behind when compared to other motorcycle sales. From its own annual report, Harley states that it expects environmental regulations to contribute to its growth, but I may cover this issue more in depth in a future video. Now, personally, Zeitz is known as an environmentalist. He founded the nonprofit Zeitz Foundation for Intercultural Ecosphere Safety and has helped preserve thousands of acres of wildlife habitat. Also, as an executive producer, he helped produce the film Breaking Boundaries. The film centers on climate thresholds needed for the survival of the planet. Because nothing says freedom like a German environmentalist at the helm of your American company. But I think the real issue is, has Jochen Zeitz been good for Harley Davidson? Well, let's have a look. Currently, Harley stock has taken a beating this year, down 12.67 at the time of this video but over the last 12 months the stock is actually up 11.11 percent but perhaps we should look at the prices since good old Jochen has been in charge he took charge as the interim CD CEO in February of 2020 just before the pandemic at that time the stock price peaked at 35.19 per share at the time of this video the share price sits at 35.87. So an increase of 1.3% is hardly a large turnaround. Um, company turnaround can be subject to many variables, but in the end, there should be progress within the first year or so. Unfortunately for Mr. Zeitz, as far as shares go anyway, this hasn't been the case. Uh, however, it did take him years to drastically improve Puma. But how about sales? 
Uh, Harley took a dive in sales in 2020 during the pandemic, but it rebounded a little in 2021. But in 2022, Harley actually seemed to sell less bikes than during the pandemic. It was by far their worst year in the past five. Uh, I will mention uh, a caveat to that in that the 2022 sales figures excluded live wire sales. However, I do not think those sales would have added much in the way of figures. Now, I'm not a financial analyst. I'm simply looking at the numbers. But in my opinion, is Harley going out of business anytime soon due to Jochen Zeitz's leadership? Not likely. Uh, Harley still boasts a very healthy profit, um, even though Zeitz has Harley burning through millions on the Livewire brand. It will take more than that to finish off the company. But I'll also give Big Bad Jochen his due. Uh, the introduction of certain models like the Pan America and Revolution Max engine is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, in fact, it may be a step in the right direction. And maybe even the Sportster was due for a shakeup after all these years. And Harley, as I said before, does turn a nice, tidy profit every year. And now, is Jochen Zeitz a bad guy? Well, I couldn't tell you. I've never met him. But I can tell by the decisions and statements he's made, we are most likely quite far apart, both personally and politically. Uh, in my opinion, I do not feel that philanthropy, social justice, and environmentalism are the things that Harley needs to focus on right now. How about selling motorcycles? How about customer service? No, I think we need to worry more about what the politicians are thinking of doing. That seems a lot closer to the business model of this CEO. But maybe I'm wrong. I've never owned a motorcycle company. Uh, but business these days seems much more concerned about government policy and greasing palms than customer satisfaction. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, what do you folks think of Yak and Zeitz? Let me know in the comments. And uh, we will see you in the next one.